Hello everybody, happy weekend. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Emily. I would love if you would subscribe. I make tons of different content from fashion to health and fitness, lifestyle, post-grad, all of the above. I am going to be filming a little weekend in my life. I feel like I haven't done one of these in quite a while and I have a lot going on this weekend. Um, tonight, I'm just like kind of hanging out, doing a little night in. I just ordered some Mexican food to be delivered. Ooh, it just got picked up. And I got like steak nachos. I'm probably just gonna hang out, watch some Netflix, and then tomorrow I have tons of errands to run. And I thought I'd take you guys along with me. And then Sunday I'm gonna be meal prepping. I did a full more in-depth video on how I meal prep last week. So I will link that above. Go check it out if you guys have not already. And then it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we're gonna go to a sport bar with some friends so have an exciting weekend ahead I also am going to be filming some different outfits for TikTok those will already be up by the time you guys see this I'm gonna be doing like a Valentine's Day outfit so I'm very excited I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning when I actually have makeup on um, also I'm actually gonna take you guys through Monday as well because Monday is Valentine's Day I work during the day but Ricky and I are going to go to dinner and then have like a cute little Valentine's night so I'm I'm really excited. We have a fun few days coming up. Now I'm going to go do some skincare and get into some pajamas probably. I don't really know what I want to put on. I actually might stay in this. This is the same hoodie I was wearing I think in my last video. Um, it says Indiana University where my sister goes to school and it's so so comfortable. I might put on different pants though because I have leggings and I'm to the point in working from home where like even leggings are just a little much for me anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna go probably put my hair up or at least pin it back, do my skincare, and then my food should be here and I've been watching the 100. It took me like a whole season to get into it, but now I'm invested. So I think I'm gonna binge some more of that tonight. Okay, before I go do my skincare and stuff, this is a very impromptu little like order slash PR haul that I wanted to show you guys. So first of all, Monday Hair Care sent me this like cute little thing. I don't want these to fall out, but it like opens like this and there's mini shampoo and conditioner in there. How freaking cute is this, guys? I'm so excited. I... I am so pumped about this. They emailed me and were like, we want to send you something. And I'm so thankful. This is so cute. And these are like perfect sizes for traveling. So I'm definitely going to put these in my little like travel thing. And then I have a really good shampoo and conditioner in travel sizes. And then the other thing that I got in PR, very similar, but also serves different purposes. Purology sent me this whole freaking thing. I cannot believe that this happened to me. They sent me this whole box, I don't want to dump it, full of full-sized products. What is going on? So the first thing that they sent me is their Strength Cure Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used this um, since I got it. I just put it back in the box to remember to show you guys. It is so freaking good. It's like a purple shampoo and it works so well. I'm obsessed. And then the rest of these I haven't used yet, but I'm probably going to do it this weekend. So this is a Strength Cure Deep Treatment Mask. And then this is a Color Fanatic um, Top Coat and Tone. So I'm so excited to use this. It looks like professional stuff. And then lastly this is um their leave-in spray i think it's like a leave-in conditioner and i use this too actually now that i think about it and i really liked this as well so i am so thankful purology thank you i literally cannot believe that they sent me all this stuff when they said they wanted to send me something i thought it was going to be like i don't know just like a little thing here or there but oh my gosh this is like so much, so I'm very excited. I'm so, so thankful for this stuff. I'm also kind of bent over like this because I have you guys on my dresser because I just sat you here and now my back hurts because I'm bending over. But one more thing, so this was an order, not PR, maybe one day, but I got the Skims um, Team USA Olympic shorts and the shirt. And look how freaking cute this is. So there's the little Team USA and then there's this. And then also, instead of the Skims logo here, it's the little 
Olympic logo and I just think these are so cute. So the reason that I bought these I'm not like super into the Olympics or anything Ricky and I have watched like a few of them But the reason that I bought this is because I never know what to wear for like Memorial Day or Fourth of July or Labor Day that doesn't look like I Kind of hate the word chuggy, but honestly, I don't know a better word for it. Like I don't know What to wear during those holidays that isn't chuggy and so i felt like if i had something like this i'll probably only sleep in the shorts but i feel like this shirt would be perfect and like a good staple i'll wear it outside of those holidays too but it'll give me something to wear for those holidays as well so that was kind of my thought process behind it and they're so soft and i have so many skims already i'm just obsessed with them and i already knew my size and everything so very excited about this but now i'm actually gonna go get ready for the evening to cozy in and eat my mexican food <laughs> Happy Saturday. Oh, I started talking and he is not having it. As you can tell, I just woke up. I brushed my teeth and brushed my hair even though it doesn't really look like it. And I'm gonna make some coffee. I started the laundry last night and I also need to finish one last load of whites. And then I'm going to get ready. I'm gonna film some TikToks and then let me get my phone. I want to go a few different places today. So I was thinking about going to Goodwill to look for just some like vintage home decor pieces, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna do that because I just feel like we don't really need anything right now and I need to stop buying things until I'm ready to get rid of some stuff. So we're not gonna do that, but I am gonna go to Hallmark to get Ricky's mom a birthday present. I need to send some stuff out at the post office and then I'm in a grocery shop and then I really want to go into the mall to get some boba. Um, when I was at Indiana University with my sister last weekend, we got boba. It was the first time that I had it and it was so good. Um, the one that I got actually was not great, but hers was really good. And the place by us has the same flavor as the one that she got. So the only thing is I do have to make sure um, the one at IU they didn't make their boba with like actual milk. I think it was like a fake powdered milk and so it didn't have dairy in it so I could have that. So I need to make sure that the place by us doesn't have dairy in theirs before I go there and get it and then I'm sad. But also, I'm pretty sure the boba place is right by Forever 21 and I haven't been there in a really long time. The only thing not to go on a little side tangent, but the only thing is I feel like a lot of the stuff that I've been getting from Forever 21 recently, I don't wear. Like I buy it because I think it's cute and then I don't wear it. So I think like I'm gonna, I'll maybe like go in there, but if they don't have anything that I'm gonna wear day to day, like when I'm working from home, I'm just not gonna get it because I was just talking to one of my friends about this. I'm trying to get better about buying things. I think Brooke Michio was talking about this in her vlog too recently. I'm trying to get better about, I would rather pay more money for things that I know I'm gonna wear, like skims um, or just better quality things than buying from places like Forever 21 or wherever else that like I know I'm just not gonna wear it and or I think I'm gonna wear it and then I end up not wearing it. So we're gonna try to get better about it this year because I would rather invest in like some better pieces so anyways side tangent i've been talking for too long i'm gonna make my coffee and then switch the laundry over actually i'll probably reverse that order and then get ready for the day <laughs> Okay, so I just finished filming my TikToks. This is one of the outfits that I picked out. So I'm gonna wear this while I run errands today. And then I think I'm gonna wear something even more casual tomorrow just because it's just our friend group and we're just going to like a sports bar. But I wanted to wear this outfit because I think it's so cute. I have my New Balance shoes on with it. You can't really tell because 
my pants are so long, but these are so freaking cute. I love these shoes. So I am now going to run some errands. It's already noon. I was filming that TikTok for an hour and a half. I did like a lot of outfits though, so I might split it up into two separate parts, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna edit it when I get home, but I just wanna get my errands out of the way because normally on a Saturday, the later in the day that it is, the more busy it gets. But it's really bright out today, which is exciting. I think it's only like 20 degrees, so hopefully I'm not cold in this because although this is like a faux leather, it's not super thick, but I'll be okay. Okay, so I just ran into Target and Target, I'm at Hallmark. I just ran into Hallmark and they didn't really have anything that I could find for Ricky's mom. But Aldi, I feel like normally has a, some really cool stuff in their like home section. So I might try to find something from there. But the only thing about that, I don't think that I have a gift bag. So I also need to get a gift bag. So when I go to do my Target pickup order, there's a Dollar Tree right by there. So I think I'm gonna run into Dollar Tree. This is starting to be so many stops. Um, So I am going to, I'm actually gonna go to Aldi last because it's like straight down the road from my apartment. So I'll just circle back around. Um, so where are we going next? Okay, I need to run by Walmart, which is not gonna be fun the day before the Super Bowl, but I have a bunch of cards that I need to drop off. So I'm gonna go through there. Does that make sense? I'm trying to figure out geographically what the best way to go is. I don't know. We're gonna figure out where we're going next. <laughs> okay, I finally made a decision. Sorry for the background noise. My heat is pumping because it's cold. I just realized that heat doesn't come out of one of my air vents, so that's really fun. Oh, it's because I have it on the wrong setting. Emily, get it together today, my goodness. So I'm gonna go to the mall because, like I said, it's the best way to go in terms of location. So gonna head to the mall, get my boba. I haven't eaten today, I should probably do that. But boba is kind of top on the priority list. Maybe we'll get food like last stop so I can eat it at home. Um, and I'm gonna take a look-see at Forever 20. No, I really shouldn't do that. We're gonna go to the mall, whatever. Whatever happens, there happens. Okay, so I just got out of the mall and I got a few things at Forever 21. These are my ugly grocery bags. Um, I got a few things from Forever 21. I'll show you guys later. I know I was literally saying that I need to stop buying things from there, but they're cute and I actually think that I'll wear them. So here we are. Next, I'm going to run to Dollar Tree and then I am going to pick up my order from Target and then actually go grocery shopping. Also, I got my boba and I'm so excited. So I get the taro boba with tapioca um, pearls. Is that what they call? I don't know, but it's good. It's so weird. So this is non-dairy. She said it's not vegan, but it's not made with dairy. So I had this um, when I was in Bloomington with my sister and it didn't hurt my stomach. So. Good to go on that front, but um, also my sister explained this perfectly. I know she's watching this, but um, she said that the taro boba milk tea tastes like buttered popcorn jelly beans. And I know it sounds gross, but it literally tastes like buttered popcorn jelly beans, but in the best way. It's so good. So anyways, now we're off to Dollar Tree. Okay, so we secured the stuff from Dollar Tree. I just got, um, I always like to get cards and gift wrap from there because obviously it's super cheap. Um, I get like all my tissue paper and then um, I think the cards are only 50 cents and then um, the gift bags are really cheap too. So I always try to go there whenever I can to get that stuff because why pay like four or five dollars for a stupid gift bag? when Dollar Tree has them for a um, dollar twenty-five now. I'm really pressed about that. Everything used to be a dollar and now everything's a dollar twenty-five. I don't know if it's just by me, but I'm not happy about it. So anyways, now Target is literally right behind me. I'm gonna go pull over there, get my um, order from them. Um, hello, no, copyright, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> um, and then finally go grocery shopping. Okay, 
Okay, Aldi checked off the list. Now I am going to go, should probably turn my car on before I try to leave. Um, I am now going to go to, anyways, now I'm going to go drop some cards off at the post office and then I am going to figure out what I want to eat. I'm probably gonna go to this place called Core Life just cause they have like really good salad bowl type things and I feel like it won't make me feel crappy. It's two and I haven't eaten yet so probably should get on that. I only do this on the weekends, I swear. During the week I'm hungry by like 11 but on the weekends I like just have so much to do that I kind of forget that food is a thing. So gonna pick something up after I drop these off and then head back home. Okay, so I just got home and changed my top. And I wanna show you what I got from Forever 21. I only got three things, but I'm very excited about this stuff that I got. So I found this shirt and I thought that it was so cute. This will be perfect for springtime. The reason that I actually got this is because last year they had a dress that was, I'm pretty sure this exact same material. And I bought it and wore it to my friend's bridal shower and I loved the way that it looked on me. So I knew I would really like this top. So I'm very excited to wear this in the spring. And then I also found this and I just thought this was like so my style that I couldn't not pass it up. I also love these like mesh tops. I think that they just give so much even though they're so simple. So very excited about those two things. And then this I think that I will really like wearing from home when I'm working. It's just this like cropped quarter zip and I feel like it'll look really cute with the pants that I have on like the flared leggings. I was in the middle of saying that and you probably watched me gasp before I even got the word leggings out. They're yoga pants. The youngins are getting to me. I did not just, I think I've just seen them be called flare leggings so much that it just like came out. But anyways, these would look really cute with yoga pants or this would look really cute with yoga pants. So I thought this was adorable. I'm normally not one for like a blue like this, but I think that it's cute. So those are the three things I got. I'm now going to watch some of the 100 and eat my food that I still haven't eaten. I got it like 30 minutes ago. And then I'm gonna work on putting some laundry away. And then I have another TikTok that I need to film for Valentine's Day outfits. Okay, I just finally finished making my TikTok for my Valentine's Day outfit ideas. I'm gonna turn the sound down so that I don't get copyrighted, but I have to show you guys because it looks so good. This is just the draft, because I haven't posted it yet, but... to take a shower and I'm gonna use some of the PR that Purology sent me. I think the problem with this is I'm gonna do one of these but I don't know what the difference is so oh this is more just to get the yellow out of your hair and then this is a mask so I think I'm gonna you both you have to leave both on for five to ten minutes i'm gonna not do this one yet because i'm actually getting my hair done next weekend so i'll save this for once my roots are touched up and whatnot um but i'm gonna do this i'm so excited so it's a strength cure superfood deep treatment mask and it has goji berry extract olive oil um helps reinforce the strength of damaged hair well, I'm a blonde, so we know we need that. So I'm going to use this, and then I have Purology um, shampoo. Here's what I found. Oh no, why are you talking? That is my Purology shampoo and conditioner. It's the Hydrate Sheer, so I'm just gonna use that to um, wash my hair. 
and maybe I'll do a face mask. And then tonight, I think I'm gonna make pasta for dinner. I convinced myself that I'm not gonna order in because I did that last night. I need to quit using DoorDash. You know that TikTok sound? It's like major bag alert, major bag alert. That is literally DoorDash in our household. I would love to know. Actually, I might not wanna know how much money Ricky and I have spent on DoorDash recently or just in the last like three years. Okay, it's literally 8.30. Where is my phone? Oh, it's right there. And I am like ready to go to bed. So sad. I'm such a grandma. It's not even funny at this point. I am watching some Netflix, going to play Animal Crossing. I don't know if I said this, but Ricky and I got a Nintendo Switch and I've been loving it. I've been playing every single day. It's just fun. I'm the type of person like I can't just sit and watch a show. I have to be doing something and I don't like being on my phone when I'm watching a show because then I'm not paying attention. But I feel like Animal Crossing is one of those games where like you can look away whenever you want. So I like doing that while I'm watching Netflix. But tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm kind of stressed because obviously it doesn't start to like 6 30 my time and that means we're probably gonna be out late on a sunday and i have to work on monday and that just sucks i just like hate being out of my routine and normally sunday nights i'm like winding down i'm like why is it not super bowl saturday instead of sunday good morning happy sunday i look insane this morning and i don't know why because i oh squishy's feeder just went off and as i was saying he I don't know why I feel like I look crazy this morning, but I do. Um, it is 10 already. We have really just let the morning get past us. Ricky's in the shower. I have to meal prep today before we go to our friend's sports bar for the Super Bowl. And I'm also going to make breakfast. I have a feeling that by the time I'm done meal prepping, I am not gonna want to cook anything for like ever my sister and my mom i think my dad too like loves to cook can't say i share that i do feel the appreciation of like when you've cooked a really nice meal and it's done but like the during part i'm not not there yet maybe one day um but going to make some breakfast i think i'm gonna do some waffles and bacon and eggs and then I'm also gonna do some air fryer hard boiled eggs because I think that that's the easiest way to make them and I'm convincing myself to stop buying the pre-made ones from Trader Joe's. I mean, not really, I just didn't have the time to go to Trader Joe's yesterday. Um, so I'll probably pick up more when I go to Trader Joe's next. But anyways, gonna get started on breakfast um, and then once Ricky's out of the shower, I will put something else on for the day. Honestly, I should probably just change now because I'm kind of cold. Um, and then get started on meal prep and then we'll get ready to go to the bar for the Super Bowl. So I just got done getting like halfway ready. I did my skincare and I did curl my hair, but I normally get hot when I'm meal prepping because like the oven's on and stuff. So I put it up in this claw clip and then I put on my new jacket that I got from Forever 21 and I put it on with my yoga pants like I was saying yesterday and it's so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I love like the little smiley faces in the flowers. I think it's so cute. So I am now going to get to meal prepping. Like I was saying this morning before we ate breakfast, I'm like already cooked out. Like I don't want to meal prep, but I need to do it so that we get a good start to the week. I know I will regret it tomorrow if I don't. So anyways, nice and comfy going to go start meal prepping. And then after that, I will get ready for later tonight. Okay, so I just got all of the chicken in the oven. I didn't film it because I think I said this in my last video where I did a more in-depth meal prep, but chicken kind of weirds me out. Obviously, I cook it for myself like literally every single week and I eat it, but I just feel weird putting raw chicken in my videos. I know that that's like 
so stupid because there are so many cooking shows and people on TikTok who cook and everything that show it. But for whatever reason, I just, I don't know. Anyway, so now I am first going to make myself a cup of, um, I always call it liquid IV, but it's actually not liquid IV. Let me grab it. So it is um, drip drop, um, but it's basically like a dupe. I don't know if that's the correct term, but it's basically liquid IV, but I get it from Amazon and it's way cheaper than liquid IV. So I'm trying to be better about hydrating myself on the weekends because I don't drink nearly as much water on the weekends as I do during the week, just because when I'm at home, during the week and I'm working and I'm sitting at my desk, I'm constantly drinking water. But when I'm kind of going here, there and everywhere over the weekends, I tend to slack on my water. So I'm trying to have one of these um, every Sunday to like refresh before we get the week started. So I'm gonna drink one of these. I was actually thinking I have peach tea um, packs, like Snapple packs. And I wonder if it'd be good with this, kind of like a peach Arnold Palmer because I'm not like obsessed with the taste of these by themselves. It's not this brand or this flavor by any means. The lemon ones are definitely the best. I've had the um, mixed pack too. I think they have like watermelon, lemon, berry, and maybe that's it. Um, but, and they're good too, but I prefer the lemon. So I just got this bag of all the lemon ones. Um, it's just because it's like kind of salty because that's what helps you stay hydrated. Um, but they're not terrible, so I don't wanna ruin this. So maybe I'll try that another day, but I'm gonna drink one of these and then I'm gonna do my overnight oats. Okay, so everything is finally done. I already put my oats in the fridge a while ago. This is going to be like a pasta salad. So it's just lettuce. I meant to get spinach and I forgot. So it's just iceberg lettuce, bonza pasta, chicken, and then I'm gonna put some Italian dressing on it. I also might get carrots and cucumber to put in it. I wasn't really thinking when I was grocery shopping because I was grocery shopping the day before Super Bowl and it was a hot mess. But anyways, then over here I did just more chicken with potatoes and green beans and then i'm going to do some type of dip with the chicken so i'm going to pop these in the fridge and then go start getting ready good morning you guys happy monday i am so tired i know that i didn't vlog last night um so funny yet not funny story. So right before I went to get ready and I was done meal prepping, I saw this TikTok that I'm going somewhere with this, by the way. I saw this TikTok of this guy who he was like, you know, I learned that you can put your pans in your oven and then do a self cleaning cycle and it will clean them. So I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. And I remember that our oven had like a self-cleaning button and whatnot, so I did that. And um, apparently, that is not a great idea. And when I looked further into it, as my oven was halfway through with the self-cleaning, it started to like kind of smell weird. And then I saw a lot of comments like lower down on that TikTok that I didn't originally see from people who literally repair ovens for a living saying that you should not use the self-clean button at all let alone um, with pans in it. So I was kind of like, nothing bad happened, but it kind of like stressed me out. And then that was like right before we needed to leave. So to say all that, that is why I completely blanked on vlogging because I was in the process of running out the door and also just like, I don't know, stuff like that just stresses me out. It's one of those things that although I've lived on my own for years now, I just, I don't know, I'm terrified of burning my apartment down. Um, so like I said, nothing bad happened. It just smelled weird and then I canceled it like halfway through. Um, didn't clean my pants, if anybody was wondering. So anyways, it is now Monday. Um, 
The Rams won the Super Bowl, which kind of sucks because I wanted the Bengals to win, but I really don't care either way if we're being honest. Um, but it is Valentine's Day. Um, I just got to work a little while ago and now I have a call later. And then tonight Ricky and I are going to um, dinner for Valentine's Day, which is exciting. So we're just gonna go to this place around the corner from our apartment. I think it's called Rocky River Tavern. Um, I always get tongue twisted when I say it for some reason. And we're just gonna go there. Um, we normally keep like Valentine's Day and our anniversary pretty casual because we get each other like a lot of stuff for our birthdays and Christmas. So nothing like too crazy, but definitely exciting because this is our fifth Valentine's Day together, I think, right? 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, our fifth Valentine's Day together, which is crazy. So yeah, gonna finish getting to work. I woke up, went to the gym, made my morning coffee. I'm obsessed with this, by the way, if you couldn't tell, because I was wearing it yesterday too, but it's just so comfy. So I have a lot of work to do today. Mondays are normally kind of tedious, so let's get to it. <music> We got back from dinner. We did our little like chocolate fondue thing. I got that kit from Target last year and it's literally the cutest little like two ceramic pieces. You just put a tea candle in and it's so perfect. It's adorable. I think it was like $10. So if they have those again this year, I would highly recommend. But we had such a good dinner. I had salmon and it was so good. And I honestly feel very full, but I don't feel like gross because the food that I got was relatively healthy. I guess you could say, but I didn't even really order it for that. It just kind of sounded good. So overall, a very successful Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this very random weekend Valentine's Day vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.